sixth seal is not metaphorical, it is an actual event in the last days. Going back to the fifth seal, the people of God are crying out for justice. Because they were persecuted and slain for testifying Jesus. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. John chapter 15 verses 18 to 20. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own, but because you were not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you, if they kept my word, they will keep yours also. Christ warned his followers if he was persecuted, you too will be persecuted, if I am hated by the world you will be hated too. If Christ experienced pain and death and his followers will also experience it. What happened in the first century, the apostles were killed, those who accepted the gospel were killed, till the second and third centuries. Persecutions carried out by the Roman Empire. Back then, Christians are persecuted because of their faith in Christ. Matthew 24 verse 9. Then they will deliver you to tribulation, and will kill you and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. Luke 21 verse 12 But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and will persecute you, delivering you to the synagogues and prisons, bringing you before kings and governors for my name's sake. Revelation 12 verse 12 and 13 But woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. And when the dragon saw that he was thrown down to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. Woman in the Bible refers to church. Persecution will be repeated in the future. Will there be persecution in the last days? Yes, it will happen once more. God's people are being persecuted and killed. The dragon, or Satan, is behind all of this, together with his ally the sea beast, or little horn in the book of Daniel. Don't be confused about the little horn and the sea beast of Revelation. They are the same. Daniel chapter 7 verse 21. As I looked, this horn made war with the saints and prevailed over them. Verse 25, he shall speak words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and shall think to a change the times and the law, and they shall be given into his hand. For a time, times, and half a time. The phrase time, times, and half a time, if you convert it to years, that is three and one half years, or 1260 days. In prophetic day, 1260 literal years. The 1260 years refers to great persecution, from 538 AD to 1798. Persecution that lasted from the middle of the first century to the late 17th century. Consider how long the persecution has lasted. Consider how many people perished. That's why the fifth seal is a martyr's request for justice for their death, their blood shed because of their faith in Christ. However, this persecution will reoccur in the last days, and it will be even worse than the last persecution. In the final days, the dragon, the sea beast or little horn, and the earth beast will unite together to pursue individuals they regard as heretics who do not obey their law, the law of the devil. If God has a law, so does the devil. Because the devil is enraged by those who obey God's law, he will force them to worship him, and he will persecute those who cannot be brought to his coercive approach. The race of women, which is the church, will be the target of the devil's attacks because they uphold God's law. Whoever belongs to this race of women will be in this battle. Revelation 12 verse 17 Then the dragon became furious with the woman and went off to make war on the rest of her offspring, on those who keep the commandments of God and hold to the testimony of Jesus. Revelation chapter 13 verses 11 to 18 And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and cowseth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. 
and he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword, and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he cowseth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred threescore and six. They will enact a law mandating the execution of non-worshippers. Satan and his two allies, the sea beast and the earth beast, will enforce it. You cannot buy or sell, if you will not submit to their laws. That represents Satan's law. People who do not worship them will be killed. God forbids anyone from accepting the beast's mark and worshipping the beast or his image. Revelation 14 verse 9 and 10 And another angel, a third, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in its image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, he also will drink the wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. It's sad to think that many will worship the beast and receive the mark out of fear. For you to understand what the mark of the beast is. Dragon, Sea Beast, Earth Beast, Satan with two allies, there is a previous video that I upload in this channel, you should watch it so you understand more. God hears the cries of the saints. And God will show his vengeance against those who have persecuted his people. And this is the sixth seal being broken. When the sixth seal is broken, all who worship the beast in his image will drink from the cup of God's wrath. Revelation chapter 16, verses 1 to 21. First, there will be excruciating sores. Second, the sea will turn to blood. And third, the river and fountain of waters will turn to blood. Fourth, humans will be burned by the sun. Fifth, there will be worldwide darkness. Sixth, the Euphrates River will dry up. And I want to read the final bowl of God's wrath, which is the seven plague. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven, from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices, and thunders, and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake, and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God, to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. There is no need to explain the seventh plague because the verse is very clear. Let's proceed to Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to 17. And I looked when he opened the sixth seal. And a great earthquake occurred. And the sun became black as a sackcloth made of hair. And the moon became like blood. And the stars of heaven fell down to the earth as a fig tree casts its figs when shaken by a strong wind. And the sky was parted as a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain and island were moved from their places. And the kings of the earth and the magistrates and the military commanders and the rich. And the powerful and every slave and free person hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they said to the mountains and the rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of the one sitting on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand. Understanding the sixth seal scene needs knowledge of the fifth seal. God must now act in response to his people's petitions, who are currently experiencing injustice in a hostile environment. 
The judgments on those who have harmed God's people are thus depicted in the sixth seal. When Christ the Lamb opens the sixth seal, there are cosmic and cataclysmic indications that follow, including a darkening of the sun and moon, meteors descending, a disastrous earthquake, and a convulsion of the sky. These cosmic indicators serve as reminders of the same things that Jesus predicted would happen at the end, Matthew chapter 24 verse 29 and 30. Immediately after the tribulation of those days the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. As with Christ's prophecy in Matthew 24, the sun, moon, stars, meteors, and sky are literal here. The use of the words, as, or, like, paints a picture of an actual thing or event, the sun became black as sackcloth. The moon became like blood, and the stars fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs. The Christians in the Western world recognized the fulfillment of Jesus' words in the order of each of these signs. The Lisbon Earthquake In 1755, the dark day of May 19, 1780, experienced in eastern New York and southern New England, and the spectacular meteor shower over the Atlantic Ocean, on November 13, 1833. The fulfillment of this prophecy, in Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to 14 led to a series of revivals and to the realization that Christ's second coming was near. In Revelation chapter 6 verses 15 to 17, the scenes portray people of all walks of life in a panic trying to hide from the terror of the upheaval at the coming of Christ. They are asking rocks and mountains to cover them in order to protect them from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Let's read. Revelation 6 verse 16, calling to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. The time has arrived for justice to be dispensed as Christ comes, to be glorified in his saints, the judgment of the wicked is described in the sixth seal. The day of divine wrath has finally come. It is with Christ's coming in power and glory that the prayers of the martyred saints underneath the altar in the fifth seal scene are ultimately answered. The scene concludes with the rhetorical question of the terror-stricken wicked. The great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? The answer to that question is given in Revelation chapter 7. Those who will be able to stand in that day are the sealed people of God, who are washed in the blood of the Lamb.